morning. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Todd. And I'm his daughter, Victoria. And today we're going to be picking some figs. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> what's interesting about Italy or Sicily is that they always eat in season. Mm -hmm. And figs or fichi is in season today. Or I should say now. Yeah, right, right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick some in our backyard. Yes. And we'll show you that. And also we're going to show you some delicious, simple recipes that make this delicious fresh fruit even better. Mm -hmm. I know that doesn't seem possible, but it is. <laughs> and we're actually privileged to have some right in our backyard. So we have to take advantage of it. So let's get picking. All right. All right. Okay, so this is one of our fig trees that we have. We have two different types of figs here. Uh, we have a green fig, which you can see here, and we also have a purple fig. Uh, the purple figs are obviously, they're prettier, but I think I like the flavor better of the green one. So Victoria, if you want to get a little closer, we want to show them so they can see what a ripe fig looks like and what the difference is. So here are the green figs. You can see the unripe ones, like this one right here, mm -hmm. is more green. Mm -hmm. uh, and then as they get ripe, they're soft and they get to this light yellow tone. Mm -hmm. Now to pick them, you can simply twist like this and try not to get that white milky substance on you because it can make you itchy. Um, <laughs> Only you, you're allergic to everything. I know, I know. <laughs> um, obviously you can see when it's open too much or it gets too ripe, uh, this is what happens to them. Some of the insects get to them. Such a shame. I know. But we'll show you some of the purple ones if I can find them uh, right. before. Let's look. Okay, we found some purple guys. We found some purple ones. And so if you get a little bit closer, what happens if you don't get down here like almost every day, they can start splitting like this. Mm -hmm. Now you can eat this still, um, as long as you get there before the insects do. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna pick this one. Which is a race between us and the insects. I know. They usually win. <laughs> this one's not bad either. What about this one right here? Oh, that's a good one. Thank you. He looks nice and ripe. He does look nice and ripe. Mm -hmm. And I think over here I saw another one pays to be tall. I know. Our, Monkey arms. Our Sicilian friends and landlord uh, needs a ladder when he picks these. So my landlord is about this tall. <laughs> the height of the hook. <laughs> so what they do is they use this little hook that he's made up and it actually quite works well because what you do is you, let me see if I can get it, you hook the branch and you pull it down so you can pick the figs uh -huh. that you want. Works quite well. It does. So I'm going to use this little tool for the ones that are really high up. That Actually, I see some over there. All right, let's go. If you want, I can hold the bowl while you pick. Yeah, those look beautiful. Look at those. The variety, there's purple and green. Well, the green, that means it's not right yet. Exactly. Mm. All, All right. right. I'm just going to twist this little bugger off. And as you can see, unfortunately, this one's already opened too much, and I'm afraid the insects already got to that, so I'm not going to use that. No, it looks like one of those plants eating those. <laughs> <laughs> like a Venus flytrap. Yes, that's the word. All right. Ooh, that guy looks good. Actually, he's not bad. I'm going to twist him off this. Oh, what a beautiful fig. See, if they twist right off, that means they're ripe. Mm. You have to fight with them, they're not. Right. Beautiful. All right. So a little interesting fact that I just learned yesterday from our landlord. <laughs> Hopefully I got everything right. She was, she, they can only speak Italian. Sicilian actually. Sicilian, yes. <laughs> Is because it's been so dry and so hot this season that the, um, the size of the figs are affected. Mm. So normally you would get a fig around this size, mm -hmm. if not bigger. And if you look at the bowl, <laughs> you can see some of how small they are and ripe. Mm, that one's almost the size of a walnut. Right? So this effect, because of the weather we've been having here in Sicily, it affects the size of the fruit uh, when they're ripe. Mm, that makes sense. But they're still delicious. So let's go make something with them. All right, let's go. All right, so we needed some fresh rosemary for our recipe. 
And so I thought, why not come to our yard? We have this beautiful rosemary bush where we can pick some rosemary. So the interesting story about this bush is that we have a dear client in the United States named Rosemary Clancy. And she told me that however big my rosemary bush got is how much she was going to leave me. <laughs> so I've been watering and feeding this bush like you cannot believe. So let's take a little bit for our recipe today. And look how big it is now. I know. <laughs> So here we have the ingredients uh, for our fresh figs and the three recipes that we're going to do for you today. So the first one that we're going to do is fresh figs with brie, a baked brie with walnuts and wild honey. Yum. And then we're going to do a prosciutto salad with mozzarella and figs with arugula, which sounds absolutely fantastic. Can't wait for that. And then we're going to do a fig and rosemary and goat cheese tartini. With so it's going to be absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to stop preparing and then we'll show you as we go um, the recipe. Sounds like a plan. Let's get cooking. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the walnuts that we got from our backyard. We actually have a walnut tree here in Sicily. And these are walnuts from last year because the walnuts this year are not ready yet. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack some now for our recipe. And then I will show you what we do with the brie and the puff pastry as well. All right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get about five figs. We're going to slice them, we're going to drizzle them with olive oil, we're going to roast them in the oven for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to take them out. I've already got my puff pastry here ready. And as typical with Sicily, uh, normally it would be nice to have a nice round brie to be able to put in there, but we use the wedge that I cut up and put in there. So I'm going to put this together and then I'll, I'll pick up the video um, once we get that going. Okay, so we're going to do a rough chop of our walnuts and it's a half a cup of them and then we're going to add it to the wild honey um, on the stove there which is a third of a cup and then I've already ground the nutmeg which is an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg and we'll add that up that's going to be the sauce that we're going to put over the brie. Ooh, okay. sounds delicious. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. All right, get chopping. So as you can see, we're just melting the honey, melting the nutmeg and the walnuts together, making a nice sauce. Oh, it looks so good. I wish you can smell this wild honey mm. that we got from um, Zafirana area as we were heading up to um, Gambino's for a wine tasting. This honey is so floral and it smells amazing. Very fragrant. It, it really is. And, and it tastes absolutely delicious. So it's going to be amazing with the puff pastry and the brie. Mm, nice mixture of flavors. And it looks like it's just about ready. Mm -hmm. So you just have to melt it a little bit to mix everything in. Because remember, we're going to um, put this on top of the baked brie. Yeah, I'm really glad we stopped and got this honey. We almost drove right by this little woman. She was just hanging out of her house on the side of the street selling honey. Literally on a chair. I know. I know. All right, I think this is all done. All right. Okay, so now we're going to make the arugula salad with prosciutto, some mozzarella, some fresh figs, and some arugula. So I'm going to just make a nice bed of arugula like this. Mm -hmm. Just making that. And then we're going to get the fresh buffalo mozzarella. And we're mm. going to just pull it apart like this. Look at that. It's so creamy in texture. Yum. Can't beat that, can you? <laughs> no, you can't. It's so buttery. It is really buttery. And these little guys are just so tender. Mm. Oh, oh my word, if you could smell it. I know. So I'm just going to finish breaking these up like this. Oops, little guy there, man down. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to get the prosciutto. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to 
just kind of pull it apart so it's easy to eat because otherwise you're just going to get a mouthful of the shoto and you're going to get some of the salad easy bite-sized pieces yeah who wants to struggle with a salad you know you mm -hmm. want to eat something that it's easy to eat and you want to a mix of flavors in one forkful exactly. so you can really get the flavors nicely. Mm -hmm. How's it looking? It's looking delicious. Yeah? It smells even better. I know, right? I wish we had, what do you call it? smell vision, vision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When are you going to invent that? I should really work on that. <laughs> should we copyright that? I think so. <laughs> mm. Okay, I think that's enough. I think that looks like a good ratio. And now I'm going to get my knife. Okay, so I cut, I'm starting to cut some of the figs to place into the salad. Looks delicious. And then cut some more. You can just see how tender these little guys are. Mm -hmm. And the color of them is just beautiful. Our friend Chris Albee in the States would just die I know. Like this, uh, Too bad we can't ship her some. <laughs> you know, I wish we could. I know. I'd love to share some of this good stuff. But it's just not the same. Even when you buy fresh figs in the States, they're just, they don't taste the same. I don't know why. Must be the Sicilian sun. And the volcanic ash that we have around here. That's true too. Look at that. Beautiful. So maybe one more right here. How's that looking? Maybe one there. One more. Where? Right here? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Nice. So now what we do is we're going to put some salt and pepper on this to taste. Um, about a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of lemon juice. And also uh, you can use a balsamic glaze, which we prefer, or balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. And then you can just dress it like that and serve it. Voila. as easy as that. Voila. Right. <laughs> bon appetito. Bon appetito. Okay, so I already put the olive oil on, the salt and pepper, mm. and now I'm just squeezing some of the lemon juice on to get the fresh lemon from our yard. Yum. Just a little bit. And then some balsamic glaze. I love this stuff. I do too. It's so thick. Again, it's not like the glaze you get in the States. This stuff is like candy. It's so good. Well, isn't that quite the dessert? <laughs> <laughs> Here they even put it on gelato, mm -hmm. all different kinds of things, sweet or savory. Look at that, beautiful. Doesn't that look delicious? Yum. When are we eating it? <laughs> Soon. We'll eat them all together. Okay, all right, sure. With, of course, with a bottle of wine. All right, well, let's finish these then, that way we can get eating. <laughs> okay. All right, so now we're going to make some crostinis. We're going to cut this rustic bread up. Mm, and we're going gorgeous. to... I already seasoned up the extra virgin olive oil with some salt and pepper. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it on both sides of this, and then we're going to put it under the broiler and toast it. Yum. Can't go wrong, look at that bread. I know, right? Delicious. Perfect. Plenty. All right, so let's rub some of this beautiful olive oil on that. How's that looking? Really good. Right? Can't go wrong with fresh ingredients. Mm -mm. Okay. I'm gonna flip them and do the same on the other side. All right. You don't wanna get them too soaked, you just wanna toast them. And the nice thing about the salt and pepper is it gives it that wonderful flavor that will enhance the crostini when we add the figs and the cheese and the prosciutto as well. Mm -hmm. To have the sweet, the salty, be oh, good. Oh yeah, the savory. All right, so we're gonna pop that into the oven and we'll get on working on the face. All right. All right, so what do we have going on here? All right, so here we have the figs grilling nicely. It smells nice so good. Soft. 
Now, do we need grill marks or anything, or is this just to soften them? Just soften them a little bit, and also if we can get some grill marks, that would be good as well. But not necessary. Huh? Not necessary. Just an added bonus. Exactly, and it softens the the bake up so that when we eat it with a crostini, it just really gets really juicy and mixes with the beautiful goat cheese that we're going to serve it on. Nice, sounds mm -hmm. good. All right. Okay, so the crostinis just came out of the oven. Mm -hmm. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm using one clove of garlic and I'm just going to rub it over the hot crostinis just to give it that little extra flavor. Don't burn your fingers. I know. <laughs> Gosh, from that... all the years of doing hair. I, think I know. I know, it's like me working with the hot figs. You're like, be careful. And I was like, I don't have any feeling on these. That smells so good. Oh, and it's leaving some garlic behind. You can see that on there. Yeah. Yum. It's garlic, not skin, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll check your fingers afterwards. All right, let me just do the last one, if I can get it over there. Yum. Okay. Delish. Wow, that garlic is really strong. Mm. All Yummy. right, now I'm going to put the goat cheese on, the prosciutto, and the grilled um, figs. Delicious. All right. All right. What are you doing so, now, Dad? So what I'm doing is I'm just spreading the goat cheese on the crostinis, getting that nice and ready for the prosciutto, and then we'll put the figs on afterwards. I must say, it smells so good. Now, is the cheese just kind of melting a little bit when you put it on the hot bread? It is, and also, too, I made sure that it was not in the refrigerator. The cheese? Yeah, so it's nice and room temp. Good idea. Yeah. Why is that important? Well, because it makes it easier for spreading and making it um, just easier on the bread itself, I Ag find. Agreed. All right, so now what's going on? So this is the, per the fresh prosciutto, and then we're going to put the um, grilled figs. Look at that. All right. Beautiful. Okay, so I just finished putting the grilled uh, figs on top of the prosciutto. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use the wild honey that we got from Zafirana uh, on some of them, and we're also going to use the balsamic glaze. So mm. you could try and see which ones you like better uh, for taste. So yeah, just... you can choose, or you could do a little of both, depends on your mood or what you at home like for flavors, I guess, as well. But they're both delicious. The fresh honey has a nice flavor, and this fresh balsamic glaze, oh my goodness, it's just so good. Like I said, it's different than the ones you can get in the States. As you can see, look at that thickness. I mean, my goodness, it's like candy. It's so good. So you have the tartness from the cheese, you have the garlic, the sweetness from this. Mm. Perfect. Voila. Voila, what more could you need? All right, let's finish up. Okay, so we just put some sprigs of the rosemary, the fresh with rosemary that we picked earlier on top of the uh, grilled face uh, with the balsamic dressing and now what we're going to do is that that heated up wild honey with walnuts and nutmeg mm. we're now going to just drizzle that over this and what is this this is the baked, baked brie. brie with figs yum look at that so when it came out of the oven it was golden brown then we put these delicious figs and honey wow that's going to be really good my mouth is watering just looking at this. Yum. Looks so easy, I know, it does look easy. <laughs> so you can decide if you want rosemary on all of them. We decide we just want it on the ones with balsamic. But that can be your choice. Exactly. All okay, right. We just finished our three recipes that we use our fresh figs in our yard. And with the roasted brie, or I should say baked brie, really, mm -hmm. we have this delicious walnut bread here. Oh, so and good. And you, you can just see, it's this beautiful rustic bread. And what you're going to do is you're going to mm. eat that with the hot brie. Oh, it just melts right over the top, huh? It's going to be delicious. To you. Yum. So hopefully you can find something like this in your area. If not, just get some crostinis and be able to dig right into that brie and enjoy it. Absolutely. Okay.
So we just finished cooking everything. It's hot, so we're going to dig in and enjoy this. And hopefully you will try this recipe yourself. Absolutely. And if you have any questions or comments, please just feel free to reach out. We'll post the recipes down mm. below, so they should be pretty easy for you to follow along. Simple, easy recipes. That's what we love. Absolutely. All right, All right. so that's it for now. Ciao for ciao, now. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Ooh, listen to that crisp. How is it, Dad? Oh, that's really good. <laughs> Now, you're not allergic to figs, are you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> How long before we find out? Can I tell you, this is really, really good. <laughs> well, that's good. Is that the one with balsamic or the one with honey? No, I wanted the wild honey. Okay, that's so it's really, really good? Really, really good. So can we have some now? Um, well, if you put down that camera, maybe. <laughs> okay. Good morning, welcome back to our channel. I'm Todd. And I'm his daughter, Victoria. And today we thought we would show you some good morning and welcome back to our channel. <laughs> good morning and welcome back to our channel. I'm Todd. And I'm his daughter, Victoria. And we also <laughs> have a uh, purple fig. Uh, the purple figs are obviously, they're prettier, but I think I like the flavor better of the green ones. Why is that, Dad? They're, uh, they're just sweeter. <laughs> <laughs> Are you All right, so here we are in the kitchen. We're getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we have the ingredients. We'll tip up. <laughs> 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 